friends and family at home. We are super excited today to bring you this story. And this story is a clue. Uh, we like clues to something exciting that's going to happen in kindergarten in just about oh, 10 minutes. And so um, after I read this story, we're going to talk about what exciting thing we might have happening. So here we go. This story is called Oink question mark. I wonder why there's a question mark after the title. Maybe we'll find out. So here we go. Hmm. Ooh, look at the front of it. What's on the front of that kindergarten? How many are there? Do you suppose they have names? Hmm, probably. And it looks like there's some banana peels, a tin can, an apple. Ooh, do you think they were eating some of that? Yeah. Maybe. Oh, there they are again. Do they look like happy pigs or sad pigs? Yeah, they do. Well, let's start reading. It says, Thomas and Joseph were pigs. Oh, what are their names? Thomas and Joseph. They were sloppy. They were lazy. They were dirty. And they were happy. They don't look happy, do they? Oink, said Thomas. Oink, agreed Joseph. The pigs were very content. Their neighbors were not so happy. They were not so content. That place is a pigsty, clucked one hen to another. Disgraceful, disgraceful, said a second hen. And with a, not, a, knowing, a knowing nod, untidy, very untidy, lazy is what they are, said the rabbit, not a green to be seen in all that pig slop. And a garden, it's just a hop away. And they stink, added the duck. My pawn is downed wind from those two. Ooh, do you think the other barnyard animals are very happy? No. Oh, those hens, they look kind of grumpy. Hey. Disgraceful, said the first hen. Untidy, said the second. Lazy, said the rabbit. P.U., said the duck. Thomas and Joseph cared not one whit of what was whispered. Oink, said Thomas. Oink, agreed Joseph. <laughs> They were happy, they were content, but their neighbors were not happy or content. They wanted something done about those pigs and they wanted it done now. A dab or two of fresh paint and the place would not be so bad, said the first hen to the second. Not so bad, said the second to the first. A diet of vegetables would do them a world of good, said the rabbit. A bath is what they need if you ask me, concluded the duck. So the neighbors made a plan. Ooh. Think it's a good plan? Yeah. Let's find out. The next day, the hens, the rabbit, and the duck walked over to Thomas and Joseph. They clucked, tusk, quack, quack, tusk, cluck. Pardon me, said the first hen, but you pigs look terribly sad. Sad, said the other neighbors. Very sad. Oink, said Thomas. Oink, said Joseph. <laughs> I myself am always happy to be neat and tidy, said the hen. Happy, so happy, said the other chicken. Perhaps if you paint your fence, you will be more cheerful. Thomas and Joseph did not think painting a fence would make them at all happier. They were cheerful now, but the hens insisted. They gave the pigs two big brushes and a bucket of white paint. Oink, said Thomas. Oink, said Joseph. Do you think they're actually going to paint? I don't know. Let's find out. Dim-witted, whispered the first hen to the second. They are very dumb pigs. I don't think they know what to do. Clueless, agreed the other. We'll just have to show them. So they did. Up, down, across, up, down, across. Thomas and Joseph tried. This way, that way, sideways, sideways, this way, that way. Ooh, were they doing a very good job? No. no. Stop, stop, you're making a mess, cried the first hen. A mess, a mess, cried the other. They cannot paint, said the first hen to the second. We can do it much better. Shoo, shoo, said the chickens to the pigs. And the, the hens began painting the fence themselves. Ah, oh, so who is getting the job done for them? The hens. the hens. Do you think that made the pigs happy? Yeah, yeah they didn't have to do the work, did they? <laughs> Up, down, across, up, down, across. As the hens painted, the rabbit hopped over to Thomas and Joseph. I think some crisp lettuce and crunchy carrots would bring smiles to your faces. Oink, said Thomas. Oink, said Joseph. 
The pigs were not at all certain a carrot would make them grin, but the rabbit insisted. She handed him each a basket and told them to go over to the garden and pick some vegetables for dinner. Tramp, stamp, tramp, stamp, yank, yank, squash. The rabbit was most distraught. The pigs were ruining the radishes, destroying the cabbages. Scoot, scoot, she said to Thomas and Joseph, insufferable hogs. She grabbed the baskets and began gathering the vegetables herself. Oh, hip hop, hip hop, hip hop, pull, pull, pull. As the hens painted and the rabbit gathered, the ducks waddled, waddled its way over to Thomas and Joseph. What you fellas need is a good long soak in some clear, clear water. Oink, said Thomas. Oink, said Joseph. Sure, said the duck. Dig yourselves a little water hole right over here. Nothing beats a swim on a hot day. Do you think they're going to dig themselves a water hole? No. Who do you think is going to do the work? The dog. Who did the work in the vegetable garden? The rabbit. the rabbit. Are the pigs having to do any work at all? Yeah. No. I think they're getting all the good stuff. Being fond of mud baths, Thomas and Joseph were not convinced a water hole would be all that refreshing, but the duck insisted. He brought out a shovel and showed them how it was done. Dig, lift, dump. Dig, lift, dump. Thomas and Joseph took a turn. They couldn't dig, they couldn't lift, and they couldn't dump. Move it, clear out, scram, declared the duck. He gathered the shovel and began digging the hole himself. Dig, lift, dump, dig, lift, dump, up, down, across, up, down, across, hip, hop, hip, hop, pull, pull, pull. The hens and the rabbit and the duck worked all day. I'm exhausted, said the hen, dropping the brush. Exhausted, exhausted, said the second. Um... Dropping the bucket, don't have a hip or a hop left in me, agreed the rabbit. I'm completely pooped, said the duck, dragging the last pail of water to the hole. But they were happy. They were content. The fence was painted, the vegetables were picked, and the hole was dug and filled with clean, clean water. The four admired their work. Those pigs could not have done it without us, clucked the hens. They don't know the first thing about painting a fence. Couldn't pick one leaf of lettuce without me, giggled the rabbit. Never have even figured out how to use a shovel, snickered the duck. The four began to laugh and laugh and laugh and laugh. And they stopped laughing. They looked at Thomas and Joseph. Munch, crunch, splish, splash, chuckle, chuckle. You know, said the hen, I don't think we're as dumb as they thought they were. Not so dumb, said the other hen. Not dumb at all, said the rabbit. Maybe, said the duck. But I still say those two are a couple of big stinkers. <laughs> Oink, said Thomas. Oink, agreed Joseph. I think they were living their best life. What do you think? Yeah. Well, what do you think our surprise might be, Kennedy? Sid? You are right. We are going to have some friends come and share their pigs with us. So it's a little bit chilly outside. 